says if you have yeah. ragweed allergy, take a fish oil. Yeah. Um, but a lot of the development of allergies is an immune and inflammatory um, so kind of funny about the cause and effect. Okay. So yeah, potentially. I guess I I couldn't say and read one way or the other. Okay. I haven't really seen any research on that. So, I don't know if no, not specifically to allergies, but it, I, mean, I would it would make sense that you know that's yeah. the omega threes you know support your immune system mm -hmm. and allergies are immune system related, mm -hmm. so you know it, it would make sense that you know that having an overall healthier system. I wanted to say one more thing about uh, blood sugar, and I wanted to get it in before we move to the next thing. But um, do you ever have your kids? They ever complain of like low blood sugar? You know, when they're exercising, they get they get shaky or they kind of feel dizzy or anything like that. Um, that's where uh, simple sugars are beneficial because it's not. You know, they, you know, hear people say, I, I have hypoglycemia. That's a pretty fixable condition. It's, you know, pretty rapidly, sugar starts to get absorbed in your mouth, you know, right away in your bloodstream. So, if you ever, if they ever complain of things like that happening, it's just a matter of getting some sugar, simple sugar, in their system. That's one place where simple sugars are. Yeah. How many times do we see a guy fall off the treadmill a lifetime? Yeah. I mean, and all they need was some orange juice. Yeah. yeah people can this way. Apple juice, orange juice, something that, you know, you can get those little four ounce bottles of it and you can, mm -hmm. you don't really even, you know, have to refrigerate it. If you're feeling that way, you have a little bit of sugar, pop the cap, suck it down, and within five minutes, you can do it. Sometimes I run into it where, you know, kids will have those high carb, no protein meals, and then they get the crash, and then they go to practice, you know, and so their, their insulin's taking sugar, and then you would start weight training and take more sugar. Or you know, sprinting or something, especially for school lunch. Yeah, and they really yeah. get a dip. So to have something close by that can yeah, really it's happen. it's kind of a triple whammy. If you have a high carbohydrate meal, your insulin goes up. That's pulling, like John said, uh, sugar out of your system. The weight training or the exercise is pulling out of your system, and then it's almost uh, compounding itself because exercise actually makes the insulin work even better uh, when your muscles are, are hungry for sugar. You know, the insulin sensitivity goes up. So really, if you've had High carbohydrate meal, say 45 minutes beforehand, and that insulin is still up, and you start exercising, that blood sugar can drop pretty fast. So, kind of getting yourself through that digestion period and getting yourself back to a normal state before starting exercise. So, um, yeah, good. Um, so, you see where hydration, uh, nutrition, and sleep are pretty huge things for. Um, recovery, performance, and injury prevention. You know, those are kind of my biggest things when I deal with kids is make sure you're sleeping. You know, I talk to them every session about, you know, what you have for breakfast today, you know. What, 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 did, what, what did uh Corey say? Breakfast corn dogs, I think was the answer. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the funniest answers I've ever had. Um, but then all these other things, you know, timing meals and um, figuring out if they could take snacks to school, that's that's a huge thing because we never used to go do that. So we'd go from lunch at, if you had a first lunch, I was at first lunch. If you had first lunch at 11 something, and then I'm practicing at you know, four, that's, that's quite a ways to go without having some kind of, you know, especially the majority of the meals are probably that. Anyway. Yeah, you know, so uh, hopefully this will give you some, some tools you can use. Uh, there's a lot of good information just on these sheets, um, and then hopefully we we're able to write some stuff down and maybe didn't know. And uh, is there any more? Do you have any more questions for chat? You all have my uh, my email. I did, was it, did we put yours on? I don't think so. But it, it certainly did. If you have any questions, after you leave here, if you're you know your son or daughter says, well, what about this? You know, or what should I do about about this? You can. Certainly email me or Brian or um, Ryan. If we don't know the answer, we'll talk to you. We'll get a chat.
Um, seminar, uh, the nutrition seminar two, uh, I think January 25th was the date we decided on. Yeah, but, um, another four talk topics, bulk up or trim down, um, sorting out the hype from sports supplements, uh, the effects of fast food, which is a big one, and kind of rooting between the, the lies. Um, so we do have a second seminar coming up if you guys are interested, and please feel free to, if you think this is valuable, to let it know. There's some good, there's some good ones in the second one too. The read between the lines is uh, that's food labels, right? Yep. And that's that's valuable for anybody, you know, because there's a lot of lies on the, <laughs> on food labels, you know, because they it's not a very strongly governed uh, area. The more concerned the FDA is more concerned with food safety than it is with how much exactly fat and carbs you know anything else is. Yeah, we could spend an hour talking about it. Yeah, it's okay for them to mislead you as long as they don't kill the baby. Yeah, that's, that's kind of how it's set Yeah. So, yeah, but. Mass food is good to know, too. Yeah, and it doesn't just say, you know, it, the, 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 the approach on that fast food through this, this program isn't no fast food. Right. It's uh, kids are going to have fast food, yeah. so let's find a way to help them make better decisions when they go. Is it okay to have it? Yeah. So, the best choices. And now they do put the, the food labels on the, you know, like a cheeseburger or whatever. Yeah. Which is amazing. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty blown cool away. It's pretty heavy duty. So, um, oh, and then there's a coupon in there. Too. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. We, do, um, we do group. Uh, we train groups of athletes typically. We do do some one on ones. You know, we do movement screening. And we check, uh, you know, our approach to training kids is, is um, you know, assessment for uh, compensations. And we work a lot on balance and core development and coordination and things like that. And then we start getting into, you know, like Chad was talking about, down the road is when we start getting into, you know, some weight training depending on their age like that but you know I've trained some really young kids just doing you know balance and body weight stuff you know it helps them as they grow you know keep from getting injured things like that so is this second session is this a year or two yep, oh, yep that'll be here like I said we'll send out more information so if you're on this list you'll get the we might hear from that the next door by that time. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, this is our first one, so you know, we weren't quite sure what to expect in, as far as the numbers. Where did you get the. I got it through the, our high school coach. Okay. The, oh, great. Like that was kind of a gamble on our part. We sent them out to yeah. a number and of coaches. And we got forwarded to all the. There's a big sack of meat snake, though. So, okay. Um, yeah, the varsity is snake snake. But. Um, okay. Yeah, I thought it was really good, and I would recommend doing it again because yeah. you need lots of. Yeah. It's a ton of info, and we weren't sure if we should break it up more or not. But, you know, a lot of these same topics will come up in the second one, and yeah. we'll continue to do. I actually would like my kids to hear it, but because they, they hear it from me, but I mean, I mean, they're teenagers, they're older, but the you never know. They are not it. great, and they are active, and you know, and. You know, there's always like the fast food and the junk. Because I always like, well, can, could they put a healthy vending machine? And they're like, Mom, no one's gonna buy that stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I think if some kids would, if they were there. The difficult the thing is, you know, I mean, as real parents, you know, they don't think past <coughs> that door right there. You know, they can't see. They yeah. can't see that taking omega threes now is gonna help them when they're yeah. forty. Yeah. You know, I should have taken that stuff. Then my knees and ankles would be so bad. <laughs> You know, yeah. but it's hard, you know, get them to see. So maybe a little repetition. Well, yeah. 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 See a little further down the road, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. All right.